Hello there! This is an astrological forecast for Libra for February 2010. And this also applies if you have a Libra ascendant. So my fellow Librans, with Saturn in your first house, many of you are looking at your lives more seriously. You're feeling in some ways a little bit constricted. I know many of you financially right now are feeling like it's just on the edge. It's just like, ooh, is everything all right? It's just tight. There's a feeling of tightness. Don't worry, it's just about you putting strategies and plans into place for the future. So what that often means is that things that you've been doing um, up until now have to end. And so there's, there's quite a lot of completions, a lot of endings happening for many Librans. With Mars in your 11th house all month, this is a great time for finding out which groups and organisations you can join. Really think about it, really put some energy into researching different groups, different people in your community, in the wider community, in the global community, but really start researching it. If it means getting online and looking at various different opportunities, it's a really good time for putting your energy into that. Not necessarily the time for joining all of these different organisations, but certainly for finding out more information about them. And the next month, you might look at joining one or two or three, or several of them being Libra. You like to try out lots of different social contexts. At least most of you do. We've got Mercury in your fourth house for about the first 10 days of the month. And this is very much about thinking about working from home about things and ideas that come to you in the workplace. How can you make your workplace, maybe your office, maybe your business, your working environment more functional? How can you make it really more efficient? And really putting into place some ways in which you can better utilise your time, particularly in the home area. After that, for much of the month, we have um, Sun, Venus, Mercury and Neptune in your fifth house. And this is very much a very creative time for you Librans. A wonderfully creative time. It's also a time actually to really get out there and enjoy yourself a bit more. To have some pleasure. With Saturn in Libra there's this tendency to think work work, tunnel vision, but no, it's actually a really good time to find out more about that which gives you pleasure. And then to maybe turn that into a business, maybe turn that into something that can make you money. As well, this is entertaining. It's an entertaining month. It's a time for entertainment. It's a time for children. If for those of you that have got children, or enjoy children, time to enjoy that aspect of your life. But it's very creative and it's very, very positive for those of you in your own business or thinking about having your own business. Then after about the 10th of the month onwards, then we've got a lot of planets still sitting in your sixth house. So Libras, if you're going to do all that socialising, after that, there's going to be some focus on work. And also looking at your routines, looking at the way in which you, your habits in your workplace, are they working for you? Do you need to make some changes? With Mercury in Aquarius there, uh, sorry, with Venus in Aquarius, this is going to bring you the ability to pr solve problems in your work area. Also, it's going to make you uh, very attractive in the work area. So those of you looking for work or looking for business or looking for advice, this is going to be a very good time in the month, these last couple of weeks, where I think you're going to find it comes in more of a flow. It's going to just feel a whole lot easier for you in this area of your life. We've got Jupiter con conjunct Venus, your ruler, um, in your sixth house of work between about the 16th and 18th of the month. So this is a great time to actually, um, very, very good for anything connected with work. It's a good time for getting more money through your work. It's also a good time for meeting maybe a romantic relationship through your work area. So generally the work looks as though it's going to expand for you and there will be some new opportunities coming in. Just make sure you don't rush at them, take your time, do your normal Libra and indecisive bit and think them through carefully, but eventually take some action. So there you have it Libras, it's going to be a mixture of play, quite a lot of play this month, and also some working. 
So I wish you a great month for those of you that are interested in having a personal reading because these forecasts are very generalised. Take a look at my website and see if anything appeals to you. I wish you a great month and I thank you for listening. Bye for now.